Their heads of reunification agreed that Kim Jong-un will meet the South Korean leader in the North's capital at some point in September. As the Pyongyang summit of the leaders of North and South Korea is being pursued, I believe that we can give concrete answers to the problems as people hope and wish for. Details of the summit were scant, but the South said it would allow the two leaders to improve ties and discuss the North's denuclearization. Kim Jong-un has had a flurry of diplomatic meetings this year, a sharp contrast with last year's fears of war. He's already met with Moon Jae-in twice since April and in June had a landmark summit with the US president. The priority for all those shaking hands with Kim Jong-un is denuclearization. The North says it's halted its weapon testing, though US officials say it's yet to agree a timeline for getting rid of its arsenal. The issue is likely to be a key talking point in the upcoming Pyongyang summit. The North isn't happy that US-led sanctions haven't been lifted despite its goodwill gestures, such as the repatriation of presumed remains of American soldiers killed during the Korean War. Another gesture will happen later this month, when the two Koreas are expected to reunite some families split apart by the Korean War, the first such reunions for three years.